it's more the hyping up is okay it's the winding down after that's quite hard actually because it is such a traumatic story so sometimes I do find it hard to wind out of it so I have to have to separate the what happens on stage to off stage so listen to music or watch tv or be be with friends so it does take a while but it's so rewarding to be able to achieve that level of performance to then come out of it is it's nice to just wind down yeah. <laughs> Uh, we normally have rehearsals during the day before a show anyway, which is lovely because you'll get to see everyone. Often what happens when you're doing uh, a big role like Romeo or Juliet, you don't actually see many people in the company on stage because you're so uh, focused on what you're doing or all your scenes are with a couple of people. Um, so it's really nice that we get to integrate properly with the company then. And then before the show, normally like an hour before, I like to be quite quiet. Some people like to play really loud music and have a good dance and like get it all out. But I like to focus in just because it really helps me get ready for what I'm about to do. Um, and then after the show, just like the biggest relief that it's kind of happened and hopefully gone well uh, is uh, that kind of come down, I guess, happens naturally. And yeah, it takes a while to come down, but it's good. <laughs> Depends on the person, you know. Some people, some people find that and they take it into the performance with them, and it sort of really works for them as like an adrenaline rush sort of thing. Other people will have a routine backstage, proper calming down, warming up thing. So it really depends on the person. It's kind of different. I, I don't want to say I don't get that nervous, but I must use it on stage. It must be like yeah. a proper adrenaline thing for me because I really look forward to it. So it's not so much of a nerve thing. It's more of a excitement building up and then it sort of comes out when I'm on stage. I think it's I think it's different for everyone. I know, personally, I quite like to kind of keep to myself a bit. I might say hi to a couple of people, but it's kind of getting in the zone, getting into my character. If there's any changes that have been made, getting, getting those in my brain so I don't make a mistake. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it just depends on how people feel they need to prepare for a show, really, I guess. I think it's just about like looking after yourself and kind mm. of like and this is obviously such a massive thing of like self-care and just making sure that we're fueling our bodies and sleeping enough and kind of like taking ourselves out of the emotions because it's quite intense it's quite um, full out in terms of these quite difficult emotions to access and I think it's just about like doing whatever we need to kind of whether that's like immediately snap out of it or just take a bit of time to like let it leave. Partly I think what we've learned is because New Adventures is such a wonderful company instead of you know making you feel bad when you receive a correction it's always glib delivered in like a positive way and I feel like every time I make a mistake yes it's not great but I learn from that and the show as a whole grows from making mistakes. Yeah.